As I say in my blurb that appears uh, in this book, commendations of this book will likely sound like wild exaggerations. They are not. Indeed, uh, the talks you hear tonight may also sound like wild exaggerations, and I'm pretty sure they are not. I'm sorry I can't be there uh, to celebrate the launch of this wonderful book. I hope you have a terrific evening. Uh, my physical copy of uh, the book arrived just yesterday, uh, which is beautifully timely because I was um, just finishing off the outline of a new doctoral course that I'll be teaching here at Wheaton, uh, mainly for pastors, um, titled Public Christianity for a Post-Christian World. Now, the book by Christopher um, was already a compulsory text uh, for this course, um, but I've also made it the topic of a distinct lecture within the course, uh, the lecture titled Christopher Watkins' Argument for a Biblical Critical Theory. And it comes immediately after the lecture, Augustine as a public Christian. I'm pretty sure Chris will like that. And indeed, Chris's uh, general approach uh, to the Bible and culture forms the backdrop to uh, the next um, one, two, three, four, five, six lectures uh, falling under the rubric, the Bible as a public document. So thank you, Chris, for giving me loads of material to work with. Uh, all credit will go to you. Uh, Christopher Watkin has done something remarkable in this book. He's given uh, thoughtful believers and doubters a whirlwind tour of both the biblical narrative and the myriad ways that narrative critiques, uh, commends, and completes the best thoughts of the best thinkers from Plato to Popper, we could say. And that's the genius of the book. Um, it's doing two very difficult things at the same time. Um, first, uh, Chris is providing a thoroughly reliable guide to the complex biblical material from Genesis to Revelation. Um, the book offers a true biblical theology, um, tracing ideas about God and the world um, as they emerge from the text of Scripture itself. Um, and for someone who's not meant to be a biblical scholar, Chris is weirdly solid and insightful into everything um, that he touches on, from the patriarchal narratives to the 8th century prophets to the apocalyptic literature of the Old and New Testaments. It is really quite something. And then when Chris steps onto the field of his main expertise, uh, modern intellectual history, this book really shines. And that's the second thing that he's doing at the same time as he's doing uh, biblical theology. Chris raises the philosophical and cultural questions of the best thinkers in the Western tradition and shows uh, what the Bible has to say in reply to all of those brilliant questions. And the extraordinary thing is Chris doesn't try to dazzle the reader with the fact that he really understands those impenetrable thinkers like Heidegger and Marx and Foucault and Derrida. Um, instead, what Chris does is he shows why these figures deserve their place uh, among the great thinkers in the Western tradition, um, how their ideas continue to influence the contemporary conversation, and importantly, why where those thinkers are wrong, they're wrong usually because they got a half-truth that the Bible itself completes uh, and is the full representation of. And this is what I love about uh, Chris's book. It's not um, just Bible theology over there for the believer, and nor is it philosophical apologetics for the skeptic 
um, devoid of concrete biblical content, it rightly lifts up the Bible itself as a public document. And he does this in the best tradition of St. Augustine, the city of God and all that. It is a magnificent achievement. Um, I think it's a must read for Christian leaders who uh, want to think biblically about our de-Christianizing world. Um, but I also think it's a special gift for those who aren't sure what to make of the Christian faith. I reckon if um, doubters and skeptics give this book the time it deserves, and at 700 pages, that's quite a bit of time, um, they'll they'll see um, that the Bible is a grown-up document uh, that hasn't just influenced the entire Western academic tradition, um, but continues to provide a rich banquet of intellectual and existential nourishment. As I say in my blurb, uh, this book is a total defense and commendation of the Christian faith like no other. So Chris, congratulations to you and to everyone. Have a wonderful evening as you celebrate a truly important book. God bless.